Hey guys, I'm Chad Hoover. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to properly launch and recover a fishing kayak. Fish on! That's a toad, brother. Golly! All right guys, so I get this question a lot and I've done videos about this in the past, but I didn't do the whole process. So today I'm gonna walk you through the where, what, when, why of launching a fishing kayak and why I do it the way that I do it and why I feel like it's the best way to launch a fishing kayak. So first and foremost, you obviously gotta get your fishing kayak to the water, whether you're dragging it, backing it into the water with the trailer, using a cart. So that part, you're just gonna have to figure out on your own. Now, once you get to the water, the ticket is to bring your kayak into the water parallel. But first I'm gonna show you why you don't bring it into the water like this, which is the, re the way that most people bring a fishing kayak into the water to launch and it's the way most people come in when they recover. The problem is when you bring your boat in and the only thing that's touching is the keel, the boat is high centered. So when you get ready to stand up and try to walk off the end of the boat, you really run the risk of the boat slipping and you end up on your face or the boat's really tippy and you end up on your face or the top of your head on the boat ramp. So for obvious reasons, you don't wanna do that. So the way that you wanna launch a fishing kayak is you wanna bring your boat down to the water and bring it in parallel. So first and foremost, I make sure that I'm not block blocking the boat ramp from people that are getting ready to use it. I bring my fishing kayak to the water and I bring it parallel to the shoreline and I want it to where the inside of the boat is just barely biting on the boat ramp. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is brace with your paddle on the outside and the seat on the inside and then step on the inside of the boat. That's gonna let you put the weight on the boat on the ramp and it's gonna hold nice and secure. From there, you can sit down in your seat and you can simply take your paddle or your hand and you can push away from the shoreline. In this case, I've got really good grooves. So I'm gonna push away from the shoreline, get my paddle in the right orientation, turn and paddle away. And it really is that simple. You're gonna avoid flipping out of your boat, you're gonna launch much more comfortably and much safer. All right guys, so when it comes to recovering your fishing kayak, you pretty much wanna do the exact opposite. And it's actually worse to recover with your nose because that's where you really wear the boat out. So as you're coming in, you wanna push on the outside and then turn on the inside. Then when you get parallel to the shore, just take your paddle, lean away from the shoreline and scoot in. That's gonna let this inside get a really good bite. Now what I like to do is get my weight on the inside, push down on that foot, stand up, brace with my paddle, and then step out onto the shoreline. That's gonna allow you to recover your kayak without wearing your nose out. You're not gonna end up in that situation where you're high centered on the keel and tippy. Grab the front of your boat, drag it off to the side, don't block the boat ramp. And that's as easy as it is to properly launch and recover a fishing kayak. But hold on for one more second. I'm gonna show you a pro tip on how to do a pro recovery. All right guys, so one tip I've got for you if you wanna do a more pro recovery is to stand up when you're coming in to land your fishing kayak or recover your fishing kayak. That does two things. One, gives you a better vantage point, but two, it lets you stand up if you've been sitting down for a long time so you don't have jelly legs when you hit the boat ramp. So all you do is when you're coming in, you do the exact same thing, put a big sweep stroke on the outside, lean away, put the weight on the outside foot. Then when your boat gets a bite, step, boom, walk away from the kayak. You look cool doing it. Reach down, grab your front handle, drag your kayak up out of the way, and it really is that simple. So. For the pro tip, come in standing. Get a little life back in your legs before you step out on the boat ramp, and it's easier to get out of the kayak than having to stand up once you make it to the boat ramp. 